And hello from a special place in the football world. We're at St James's Park here in Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary. And joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Aston Villa. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. Wendia. Ings. And here's Sanson. Can he finish? And able to close down the shot. Good looking ball. Hendrik. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. And a chance to whip it in here. And he's broken free. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And as we look at the table, we have to say Aston Villa have been amongst the surprise packages playing some spellbinding football league. I don't think anybody expected them to be top at this point, but you can definitely see why they are. Pretty solid at the back, pretty decent up front. Their form's good. The manager's got them all playing for each other. They're a really terrific side this season. Shelby. And using his strength to shield the ball. I believe there's been a goal in the Manchester United game. Alan? It's a goal for Manchester United. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Wendia moving it forward. Now well, they've lost the ball. They've got it now. What can they do? Good defending to prevent the chance. Well, he's given it away. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Douglas Luiz. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Tyrone Mings. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Bailey. He's beaten his man. Almost going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Let's get an update from the Etihad Stadium, where a goal has been scored. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Ings and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Joe Linton. Wilson with it. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Bailey. A real opening now. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas, and then he does well to read the flight of the ball, doesn't he? Just cushions it beyond the keeper in the end, and that seems to catch him off guard. Nice finish. The opening goal of the game, then. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Shelby. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Lost possession. Villa possession stats are not brilliant, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Ings. Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Joel Linton.
chance to do damage. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Ings. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, a second goal for them here. I believe there's been a goal in the City game. Alan can fill us in. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Ciro Immobile. He got across his marker and flicked home the header. 36 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. This looks promising. Good looking cross. Regained possession. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Not the pass he had in mind. Getting forward. A foul, but advantage played. Shelby. Really well played pass. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Wendia. Well, they no longer have the ball. Strong play here. Carroll. Shelby. On the ball, Paul Dummett. Keane. Jeff Hendrick. Oh, good use of the ball. And offside it is. So the whistle then. We're up the half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Tyrone Mings. It's with Douglas Luiz. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Over the touchline for a throw in. And news of a goal in the Manchester United match. Alan McAnally will fill us in. It's a second goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Paul Pogba. He walked the ball between his feet in a very tight area, then got his shot away from 12 yards. 50 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And the counter-attack is on, options available. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Wilson. Newcastle really controlling possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Now sliding in field. Looks promising this. Effective looking pass. Wilson. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay. How well has he done there? The defenders close in on him. They think they've got him. No chance the ball's in the back of the net. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, 2-1 it is here. Douglas Luiz. Watkins. Showing a real will to win the ball. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. 
Douglas Luiz. Well, no doubt many of you have been hearing the transfer rumours. It does look as though the deal could be only. Well, Derek, there's normally no smoke without fire. The rumours have been rife. The fans will be excited about that. He's a proper player, isn't he? I'd sign him. Jeff Hendrick. Keen. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester United. 66 minutes played, 3-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Wendia. Ollie Watkins. Traore. And options in the centre. Well, disappointing end to the move. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Newcastle United facing Arsenal. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty, and now let's see if they can level it up. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. The noise is great. Can the players react to that? Can they equalise? Well, an opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one. No nonsense clearance. Hendrik. Crossed into the penalty area. Not a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Let's get an update from the Etihad Stadium where a goal has been scored, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. A long-range swerving and tipping effort that left the keeper standing. 74 minutes played, 4-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Nicely timed tackle. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Not a particularly strong challenge. Sir Maxima. And players waiting in the centre. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Ollie Watkins. And now Coutinho. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. On the attack in the closing phase. What can he do from here? Straight forward for the keeper. Coutinho and five minutes to go the attack continues they're making considerable progress and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage just the clearance that was needed and they're making a change Sanson And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Now he's given it away. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Bailey. Watkins. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Coutinho! And the free kick off the bar. Well, he thinks he's hit the back of the net, but no, it's the bar. Shelby. 
He's protecting it well. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. Lee, your assessment? Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, 